Hi class, today you are going to learn the blanket stitch. So the first thing that you're going to do is just thread your needle like you have in the past, putting it through and then knotting the other end. And we wrap it around your fingers, put it through that little loop and make the knot nice and loose so that it stays big. When you start something like this, you want to always hide your knots. So you can't just put your things together and have it on the back side this time. I actually want the knot to stay on the inside. So what we're going to do is you are going to open up the fabric like this. Oops, which reminds me, take off all the tape on the inside as well while you're doing this um, so that you don't sew it up on the inside. So you're going to open it up, pass it through one piece of fabric, just one, and that way your knot is on the inside. Then you're going to close up the fabric and directly across from that where you had the knot, you are going to sew a stitch. going to get it through and right before you tighten this loop you are going to travel your needle through the loop and then you're going to pull. So then the next thing is you're going to just a small amount of uh, distance between and you want to keep them consistent you are going to do it again before it goes all the way through you're going to go through the loop and you just continue making sure that you are traveling through the loop. See how I naturally did it that time? If you kind of go like this and then automatically put your string under, that's a real quick way of doing it faster. But if you're kind of confused about how to do this at first, it's just put it through, full piece of fabric, have yourself a little loop, travel through the little loop, and pull tight. What I'm looking for when I'm grading these is the stitch length is the same and the distance between. So you want to keep them as neat as possible. If you have really wide stitches, you'll have holes in between your fabric where the stuffing will fall out. So you want to make sure that you are going through both pieces of fabric and pulling, going through the loop, and then it lands. Okay. This is called the blanket stitch. Before you learn the running stitch for sewing on its face, now you're stitching up the edges. Um, when you start running out of string. I'm just going to speed up so that I can show you this. When you start running out of string, you have to tie your knot before you don't have enough string left over. So you get this far. Remember your tail is going to always give you a little bit more if you need it. But when you when you start running out of string, you need to have enough yarn to make that last travel so you can go through the loop two times pull it tight it becomes a knot there but we don't want the knot to show or the extra thread so what you're going to do is you are going to take your needle and just pass it through the fabric and then it becomes on the inside is where your tail should be and then you can kind of snip your string if it's short you don't even need to snip it and you can just tuck it inside so right now I'm just going to cut See another piece of tape. We want to get rid of that. The tape would stop the batting, the stuffing from um, filling that area, so you need to make sure you pull that out. And now because I do dove through the fabric, that string is on the inside. And then you just go ahead and you start where you left off. Um, come back in line, get more string, and continue up all the way around. Remember, we're leaving a little pocket at the top or the bottom or wherever you want so that we can stuff them, and then we'll blanket stitch the rest of the way. All right, let's do the blanket stitch.